Tonight. These kids work so hard every year to raise money for Four Diamonds. For me, it's really just about helping kids. An ABC 27 special presentation. It's such a great cause and it's so much more than myself. For the kids, sponsored by Four Diamonds and Penn State Health Children's Hospital. Good evening, I'm Deborah Pinkerton. Tonight is about hope, inspiration, and dedication. Four Diamonds captures it all. During the next half hour, you will learn how teenagers raise millions of dollars for Four Diamonds. Also find out how Four Diamonds and Penn State Health Children's Hospital work together to find a cure for childhood cancers through groundbreaking research. And do you have questions? Penn State Health Children's Hospital and Four Diamonds will answer them for you tonight during a live web chat. Denise McCracken is standing by with more. Hi, Denise. Hi, Deborah. The live web chat opened at 7 and goes until 8. And tonight, Logan Eckert will answer the web chat questions. So if you have questions, you can join the live web chat right now. Go to abc27.com slash minithon chat. And we'll be back later in the show to share those with you. Back to you, Deborah. Thanks, Denise. Minithon celebrates its 28th year, and this year it's back in full force. Student leaders and advisors gathered in Hershey last month to look back and to look forward. Take a look. It may be overcast outside, but inside the light is shining bright. Middle and high school students from all over Pennsylvania and some neighboring states celebrate their accomplishments and are recognized for their hard work. The 2022 winner of the Award for Excellence in Fundraising is Lower Moreland High School. Students from Lower Moreland High School in Montgomery County accepted the award. It was shocking and like I felt like really appreciated. We like really were not expecting to win this. These students raised more than $200,000 and they did it without spending a cent. Their community donated everything for the Minithon events. We have a color run in the beginning of September and it's just like an event where like the whole community can come and it's like a 5k color run. And then we also have an outdoor movie night which is around like the middle of October, which is outside. And then we had something called the Kids Night Out. It's around Halloween time, and it's basically like a babysitting event for our elementary school students. Michael McNicholas started the Minithon program in his middle school several years ago. Now a senior, he looks back. For me, it's really just about helping kids. Um, I'm very much so like a volunteer-oriented person. Like, I feel like I'm at my best when I'm helping others. These kids work so hard every year to raise money for Four Diamonds. They're taking part in something that's bigger than themselves. Every nickel, dime, and dollar raised goes to conquer childhood cancer. This year, the students' efforts paid off big. The total is $5,778,903.93. Yep, more than $5.7 million. They doubled last year's total. These kids put in the hard work, and they do it because they know that they're fighting for kids who are just like them, who are sick and who need their help. A large percentage of the dollars raised goes to research. The rest of it goes to support an average of 500 uh, patients and their families every year at the Penn State Health Children's Hospital. So they don't need to worry about medical bills and if they're going to make a mortgage payment or if they're going to pay for a chemotherapy treatment. We take that worry off their plates so that they can concentrate all their energy on their child. It's such a great cause and it's something so much more than like myself and I wanted to like be able to help my community and help children and families because it's so amazing and like I get so emotional about it. Community service is my favorite thing to do in the world. I grew up doing it and this is like the dream position I could be a part of like in high school. I do genuinely believe like joy is just infectious and when you start helping people and you start bringing them joy and you can unite with other people through helping other people feel joy. That's what keeps me going in my roughest moments. 
some powerful statements from teenagers. More than 200 schools participate in Minithon events each year. It's really amazing what they have accomplished. And joining us now is Suzanne Graney, Executive Director of Four Diamonds. Thanks for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me here. This event truly was so energizing. I was so happy to be there. How did it feel to have everyone back in person? Oh, we were so excited to get to have everybody in person for the Leadership Summit and bring all of that energy and enthusiasm for Minithon into one space and really get everybody excited about the coming year. Everyone is really so dedicated. The teens that I spoke with really just so energized to raise money and to help this cause. Some schools broke records. Oh, they sure did. We came back, you know, like a storm. It was exciting to see so many students who had missed their mini thons so much and schools, you know, just rallying all of their student body together to make some magic happen. And they blew us away with some of their totals. All of the schools did a phenomenal job and then collectively, they more than doubled what they had raised the previous year. It was amazing. Yeah, that is truly amazing. Now, Four Diamonds really is teaching today's youth the importance of philanthropy and really giving back to their community. Yeah, you know, one of the things I love so much about our Four Diamonds Minithon program is how it teaches young people of all different ages to care about each other, to care about their community, and, you know, what happens when we put action behind that care? How, when we collectively focus on finding a solution to a problem, we can move the needle forward on what is happening in that particular area and that problem and find successes that we wouldn't have found on our own. Yeah, it's really certainly teaching them very valuable lessons. It is, you know, helping them to care and put action behind their care and to, to learn these lessons that they can take with them their entire lifetime and make a difference and ripple um, in a positive way in their communities forever. Now let's talk about five months away now. So let's talk about Thon 2023. Oh my I'm sure goodness. Are you excited? What are plans uh, for that? And yeah, you know, we start at zero every year. So it's always so fun to work with the students who are planning out Thon and watch them put their ideas on paper and then watch them bring that to life. So there are tons of plans already underway. Thon 2023 happens um, just five months from now, and we're excited uh, to be able to hopefully be back in person again this year in February. Yeah, we're excited for it too. Suzanne, stick around because we have lots sure. more to talk about. But in the meantime, if you would like more information about Penn State Health Children's Hospital or Four Diamonds, call this number 866-942-3794 or visit online at pennsahealth.org slash children's or you can go to fourdiamonds.donordrive.com. Now, viewers have been sending in questions during the live web chat. Denise McCracken joins us with some of the answers. Denise. Thanks, Deborah. Well, here to answer those questions is Logan Eckert. He's the Director of Analytics and Strategy of Four Diamonds. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Our first viewer question is, how do you help schools get involved and start their very own Minithon? Yeah, well, that's a great question. So students or parents that are interested in getting involved in Minithon can first go to fourdiamonds.org forward slash Minithon. That's a great place to start. One of the great things is about Minithon is we offer each school with a their own dedicated Minithon liaison that works with them to kind of create the program that's best for their school. And I think that's one of the best parts about Minithon is being able to have, kind of have that latitude that works for their student body in their school. We also provide them with a number of resources, including a digital fundraising platform, an annual leadership summit, as well as um, you know being able to have merchandise and swag they can use for fundraising and um, really an online community that kind of works together to, for a common cause. Sounds like a lot of great resources. Absolutely. Our next viewer asks, my son goes to a cyber school and takes classes virtually. How can he get involved with Minithon? Yeah, we welcome cyber schools and would love uh, for more to participate. We actually have a lot of virtual uh, fundraising programs and, and different ways that students can host a Minithon virtually um, and really kind of join that community. Again, that URL to visit and learn more and start a Minithon is fourdiamonds.org forward slash mini dash thon. Logan, thank you. We'll have more questions for you a little later in the show then as well. And if you have questions, you can join the live web chat right now. Go to abc27.com slash minithon chat. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Hi, I'm BJ Wurzen, founder and CEO of West Shore Home, and I'm here with Matt DeSoto, president and CEO of MI Windows and Doors. Both of our companies are invested in giving back to the local communities we serve. The month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and with both of us being Penn State alumni, we couldn't think of a better way to give back than to donate a portion of all proceeds for the month to Four Diamonds. Our goal is to help conquer childhood cancer. By partnering with Four Diamonds, we're ensuring children and families are getting access to superior care, comprehensive support, and innovative research. Together, we're pledging to donate at least $100,000 to this amazing cause. We're both privileged to be able to support Four Diamonds in their efforts to conquer childhood cancer, which is why we wanted to take this time to say thank you. Any customer who works with West Shore Home and MI Windows in the month of September will be helping children and families in need. To learn more about our partnership with Four Diamonds, visit our homepage and click on the banner at the top. You're watching For the Kids, sponsored by Four Diamonds and Penn State Health Children's Hospital. Welcome back. Four Diamonds helps hundreds of families every year. One of those families lives in Lancaster County. Peg and Gabrielle Chapman share their journey. Peg Chapman and her daughter Gabrielle share a special bond, a bond that has carried them through some of the toughest times. They look back on their journey, which started when Gabrielle was a baby. She was previously diagnosed with hydrocephalus, which makes your head make extra fluid and your head swells up. Doctors treated her. Gabrielle was doing well until one day at the park when she lost her balance and bumped her head. Gabrielle was two years old. She was acting weird and then she started walking like she was drunk and she was weaving and stuff. And I was like, something's wrong. And Peg was right. And they found the four centimeter tumor in the base of your cerebellum, which is the crook of your neck in the back. And then they diagnosed me with a medulloblastoma. Peg had plenty of questions for the doctor. How do we proceed? What are we going to do? What are our options? And he said, that depends. And I said, depends on what? And he said, whether you want your daughter or not. Because he said, if I don't take it out, she'll be gone in six months. The next week, doctors removed the tumor and more treatment was needed. And they did uh, six rounds of chemo. The one was a mega dose, which knocked out all the cells and they did therapy. They gave me my own stem cells back. Around that time, the Chapmans learned about Four Diamonds and met its co-founder, Charles Millard. We started going to funds and mini funds and we met Mr. Millard. He was the sweetest guy ever. We thought of him as like a grandpa to our kids too because he always remembered them. He was so sweet. And even sweeter was his vision to help families with children who are diagnosed with cancer, like the Chapmans. There's never going to be enough thank yous in the world for that, or how grateful we are that someone like this even exists. Because it let us do the important job, help her, not worry about how we're going to pay for her. <laughs> um, that was the most important thing for us. Gabrielle knew one way to say thank you she joined the Minithon Club in her high school. I just wanted a way to give back, and I knew Minithon was the way to give back. She was vice president of her committee. She was the second highest fundraiser in her school. Such a huge accomplishment. Four Diamonds and Minithon have given us lifelong friendships and also a lot of mentors. Gabrielle Teachers spoke about the importance of Minithon of at the Student Leadership Conference. It's really great to see all the kids trying to give back to something that's so big and helps so many people. She's an outstanding human. <laughs> it's just crazy that so many people told her that she wasn't going to do it. And she said, Mom, you always believed in me. And I'm like, that's my job. That's what I'm supposed to do. Gabrielle graduated from high school with honors and is already taking classes at Harrisburg Area Community College. More importantly, Gabrielle has been cancer free for 16 years. And back with us is Suzanne Graney, Executive Director of Four Diamonds. You know, Gabrielle's family was so touched 
by what Four Diamonds did and helped them through by with phone cards and so many different things. Why don't you remind our viewers, how do you help people? Yeah, we're helping our families make sure that they can proceed with treatment for their child without worrying about how they're going to pay for that. Four Diamonds is filling in all of the gaps that insurance is not covering. So it makes it possible to focus truly on what it is that the child needs at the moment that they need it. But we're also providing services, you know, in Gabrielle's instance, she was really young. So child life specialists were really important to be able to um, help entertain her at times and give mom a break, but in a safe way, but also to explain, here's what's gonna happen. This is what this next procedure is going to be. They are working with our um, children to make sure that they have age appropriate materials to be able to understand what is cancer, how is it gonna be treated, and trying to alleviate some of that fear. So whether that's music therapy, art therapy, all of the services that are wrapping around this child and the family that are proven to be therapeutic um, ways to increase the likelihood of a positive outcome. Yeah, I know the Chapmans are so appreciative of what was done. Now, September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and two Pennsylvania-based companies are giving back to Four Diamonds by building together for a cure. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was super exciting. Um, we have advisory board members who are representing both of these companies, West Shore Home and MI Windows and Doors. And MI Windows and Doors has been supporting us for a long time. But during the pandemic, they started partnering with West Shore Home at, within their businesses and suggested, what if we did something together to support Four Diamonds uh, during September? And they came to us with the idea of a portion of their sale of their windows nationwide, both are nationwide companies, um, is going to be directed to Four Diamonds. And we're very excited about what that means to help kids like Gabrielle, who are going through their fight today, and investing in research to help kids who might fight tomorrow. Yeah, that is certainly wonderful news that they're doing something like that. Now we know that your mission is to find a cure for pediatric cancers. Talk to us about research. You know, research is really the key that will lead us to being able to conquer childhood cancer. We know that we can have outstanding treatments, but we still have kids that are not responding to those treatments. And the only way that we will find new ways to deal with childhood cancer is through research. That's how we will find new treatments. That's how we will minimize the side effects of our current treatments and ultimately one day lead us to a cure for all kids. Yeah, and certainly that's what we're all looking forward to. Why don't you remind our viewers how they can make a gift or donation? Sure, you can make a contribution at fourdiamonds.org or through the link that's on your screen, or you can use the telephone number that is shared throughout the program. And if you are choosing to make a gift, I wanna say thank you for what you're doing to help the kids. Suzanne, always great seeing you. It's always wonderful to see you too. Thank you so much for being here with us and, and inviting us in to talk about childhood cancer during Awareness Month. Yes, and it's so nice to be back in person. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> and for more information about Penn State Health Children's Hospital or Four Diamonds, this is the number to call 866-942-3794 or visit online at pennsahealth.org slash children's or to make a donation, fourdiamonds.donordrive.com. Now let's check in with Denise for the answers to some viewer questions. Denise. Thanks, Deborah. Well, joining us again is Logan Eckert, Director of Analytics and Strategy for Foreign Diamonds, and he is back to answer a few more viewer questions. Our first question, do you work with area businesses and community members to create their own fundraisers for Four Diamonds? Yeah, we actually have a bunch of team members that really work with uh, businesses and community members to kind of create uh, experiences and, and fundraising events that are really meaningful to them. And honestly, during the month of September, uh, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, we recently launched a new fundraising program called Play for the Kids, which we invite uh, local community members and businesses to get involved in. To learn more about that program, you can visit fourdiamonds.org forward slash play for the kids. 
And our next viewer is interested in getting involved with Four Diamonds by asking, what other events do you do throughout the year and how can people get involved to help? Yeah, anyone can get involved uh, throughout the year by supporting um, all of our different community events and to really see all of those robust uh, community events that we have going on, uh, you can visit our website, fourdiamonds.org. Uh, right on our homepage is a whole events calendar that has all of the different events that are happening uh, throughout the month and, and throughout the year as well. Great, Logan. Thanks so much for all your excellent information tonight. And Logan will answer your questions until 8 o'clock, so if you do have a question, you can join the live web chat right now. Go to abc27.com slash minithon chat. Back to you, Deborah. Thank you, Denise. Joining us right now is Dr. Yatin Vias, Chair of the Department of Pediatrics and Pediatrician-in-Chief. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, it's a great pleasure to be here. We were just talking with Suzanne about the importance of research. Now you just launched the new Four Diamonds Center for Childhood Cancer Innovations. Sounds exciting, tell us about it, it. it. It is truly very exciting, yes. I think it's going to be really transformative, this particular center. And, and this center, what it does is really brings, you know, pediatric oncologists, clinicians, scientists, scientists who are also laboratory based as well as clinical translational scientists, all under one roof with the idea of harnessing what science has to tell us today in terms of what is the latest, the cutting edge diagnostics so that we can make a diagnosis even before the conventional ways in which we are known to make diagnoses, we can do it called the molecular diagnosis of biomarkers or and then instead of also come up with uh, strategies to, to, to really cure those uh, patients using those diagnostics uh, as we call actionable targets. So I think it's a very exciting time right now at Penn State Health Children's that we have sort of uh, uh, just launched this particular center. Yes, yeah, certainly sounds really like a great thing. Now what kind of impact will this center make on the future of pediatric cancer research? Right, yeah. I think it was, uh, if you look at uh, the history of pediatric cancer just about, I want to say about a decade or so ago, childhood cancer was the commonest cause of death by wow. diagnosis. Just imagine that. And today That's we amazing. make dramatic strides in, in, in the outcomes. And that is consequent to, you know, the new discoveries that have sort of shown the, and led the way, I would say, with the, with the decoding of the genome, and particularly of the cancer genome. Uh, and we have understood how pediatric cancers are uniquely different uh, uh, compared to the adult cancers. So I think that the center will try to understand all those scientific inputs and design newer diagnostic. For example, you know, for the longest time after the genome were decoded, we thought DNA had all the answers, the DNA. And the mutations in the DNA would be actionable. Now we are realizing that childhood cancer, there is really a paucity of DNA mutations or aberrations. But rather there are problems with something called RNA. And this RNA is making this promiscuous relationship with another RNA and driving randomly some of the cancer uh, driving pathways or signaling as we call it. And so I think the, the, the center is going to uh, uh, decode all this stuff and provide normal, normal diagnostics but also therapeutics. Yeah, that is exciting. Now talk to us about some of the research that's taking place right now. Right, we've got some outstanding uh, teams of physicians, physician scientists conducting research. Uh, what we are doing is we are harnessing uh, the, the power of what is called nanotechnology, you know, how the atoms are such a small um, uh, particles, and these when put together are called nano, nanoparticles. We're using this technology to, to see if we can uh, really target these cancer cells and sometimes, you know, you have to know how to target them. Just like, you know, the Artemis is taking us, the Orion, to, to the moon. We have CAR T cells, and I'm sure the viewers know about the chimeric T cells that has uh, sort of really revolutionized. Right. So we are going to harness the strength of the CAR T cells, put a payload of some of the nanoparticles on it, and deliver it to the cancer cells so that the, uh, the surrounding uh, microenvironment or other normal cells are not affected. So I think the research going on there is just is going to be outstanding and paradigm shifting. And the last thing I want to say is that you know certain kids are born with genetic disorders and they actually have defect in the genes that result in cancers. We are also embarking on research to understand how these inborn errors of immunity or immune genes cause cancers. 
Wow, it is so encouraging, and you're so excited about that, and, and that's really just very, very good to hear. Um, now, the work being done together by Four Diamonds and Penn State Health Children's Hospital is really groundbreaking. What does it mean to have a partner with Four Diamonds? Wow, yeah. So, mm -hmm. any, so that question, sort of, I want to invoke the cosmo cosmology, the, the, how stars are formed, you know. So if you look at how stars started forming, you had hydrogen and helium that came together. I would say this partnership is akin to that. You know, I think the stardom that we have and, and the reason we are shining is because of Four Diamonds. So the, the, the partnership with Four Diamonds is, is, is invaluable. And as Suzanne had mentioned, you know, what you want to do is you want to find a cure. Right, right. We want to prevent, we want to identify ways to prevent cancer before it becomes cancer. And this is called biomarker discovery. What is so unique about cancers is they actually shed some particles that circulate in the blood. And we are trying to identify mechanisms to capture those particles, decode the message in the particles, and then sort of learn from it, where is this cell trying to go? Is it trying to go to the lung? Is it going to the brain? Where does it want to go? And then stop that in its path, in its course, through therapies. So I think this is where research can take us to, to really bring preventive uh, mechanisms towards cure of cancer. Yeah, that's great. That's great. You guys are working all of this on all of this, Dr. Fias. Thanks so much for being here and, and giving us this information. Thank you. My pleasure. And we also want to thank Peg and Gabrielle for sharing their journey and you sending in your questions. For more information about Penn State Health Children's Hospital or Four Diamonds, you can call this number 866-942-3794 or visit online at pennstatehealth.org slash children's or to make a donation, go to fourdiamonds.donordrive.com. Now next Friday, September 23rd on Good Day PA, learn how specialists from the neonatal intensive care unit at Penn State Health Children's Hospital provide care to the most complex and critically ill newborns. And you'll also get to meet two families who, whose babies were treated by the state-of-the-art facility. Once again, that is next Friday, September 23rd at 10 o'clock on Good Day PA. And we want to thank you for watching tonight. We wish you good health.